that's about it. What is up guys and girls, this is Glenn here once again with another Rope Rage video. Today we have another follow along workout and on this occasion it's a jump rope workout for the chest. If you remember in the last follow along workout we looked at the calf muscle, we did some really good work with that. Great responses from you guys so really good stuff getting involved in that one. But after that we conducted a vote on the channel for the next uh, muscle group and you guys voted for the chest so here it is. This sequence is called Simply the Chest. Oh yes, it's the workout to make your chest better than all the rest. You won't believe how long it took me to think, think that one up. This workout is a chest activation workout. So we're really focusing on building that connection between our mind and our chest muscle group. We wanna think about what we're doing, really go through the motions so that we can get a good command of how we're activating the chest muscles while we're doing our jump rope training. So without further ado, here's the sequence. We're gonna start with 10 one-handed crossed side swings, followed by 10 side swings and finishing up with 10 cross -ups. Tutorials for all of these moves are on the channel, so check out the previous videos if you need to. Sounds simple, right? Maybe it's not so simple. Simply the chest is what we're gonna call an alternating sequence. So what this means is for round one, we're gonna do it however we want, whichever hand we're most comfortable with. For me, my dominant hand is my right hand, so we'll do everything right hand. The second round, we've got to switch it up. We've got to do it with the left hand. And I know it sucks. It's not easy to do certain techniques with the left hand. And I myself know I'm probably gonna struggle with some of this, but the idea with this workout is to really focus on activating the chest muscles. You want a good, well-rounded command of the rope using your chest muscles, okay? And also, you don't wanna end up with like a lopsided chest, do you? You don't want one side more developed than the other. So everything we do with the right hand, we're gonna do on the left. So round one, I'm gonna do right-handed. Round two, left. Round three, right. Round four, left, okay? We're trying to build a well-rounded set of chest muscles or a well-rounded mind-muscle connection. You wanna be able to command the muscles on the left side as well as you're able to command the muscles on the right. It's not ever going to be identical, but you wanna get as well-rounded as possible. You wanna be able to switch pretty much like this on your screen right now. You wanna be able to switch right, left, on command, mainly to become a more well-rounded athlete, but also because it just looks pretty cool to do this. The good news, the good news is that there are no penalties for this sequence. Okay? If you mess up, just get back on the rope and carry on. No need to add another rep like in the previous follow along workout. The main focus here is just to develop our skills, okay? You're trying to develop your competence and your confidence doing the crossovers right-handed and left-handed. That's true mastery. Okay, that's enough talking from me. I'm gonna get straight into it. One thing you'll notice is that as I'm crossing with these one-handed crossed side swings, I'm really stretching through, doing some wide swings and doing some narrow swings, stretching through the chest muscle. With my side swings here, the right hand is on the top, and later, as I come to the crossovers, you'll notice that the right hand crosses over the top also. In round two, you're to switch that. It doesn't matter if you're not confident at all. We're not timing ourselves with this workout. We're just trying to work on becoming more accustomed to using both hands, okay? So do this sequence from time to time and you'll notice a marked improvement in your confidence and your ability to use either hand.
All right, so that's round one done. You'll notice I had a bit of trouble on my left hand. And that's because I'm right-handed. And although I've been able to develop my left-handed skills to a good level, it's not quite there yet. The crossover is really a technique that will um, expose weaknesses. Um, because if you're able to do your crossovers perfectly with the right hand leading over the top and you can't do it with your left hand leading, it shows that you need a bit more work on your left hand. So I need a little bit more work on my left hand. I'm gonna get straight back into it, do a few more rounds. And remember, it's not a race, you're just focusing on completing the movements. If you mess up, just get on the rope and start again. No worries. So obviously my right hand is a lot more accomplished than my left hand, which is great because, because it really shows you what you need to work on. Now, I've noticed with my training, I don't know if this is the same for you, but let me know. When I do things quicker, my mind reacts a bit more sharply. So I've been going really slow for those rounds. <laughs> I'm gonna go for some quick zippy rounds now of that sequence and see how we get on. Alright, so that was a funny one. Um, had a bit of an easier time doing it with the left hand at higher speed. That's just for me. Some people are different. Some people prefer to um, really slow things down. And this is great for when you're first learning. But for me, I find that when I'm forced to think quicker as I'm doing my movements, um, I kind of tap into an instinctive state and everything's a bit sharper and a bit smoother. Okay, I'm starting to feel the chest really activating now. What I'm going to do for this round, you get the picture with those rounds, so you wanna go right-handed first, left-handed second, right-handed third, left-handed fourth, and then you wanna to get to a point where you're able to switch, okay, and alternate for each repetition. So I'm gonna show you that now. This is something to work towards. What you wanna do is get that fundamental basis done first, but try and work towards alternating each round as I'm going to demonstrate.
You want to get to a point where you can alternate right hand, left hand, no worries. You mess up, smile, start again. I've been speaking to a lot of you guys privately recently in emails and stuff and Instagram DMs. My inbox is always open. And a lot of guys are frustrated about uh, their training not moving as quickly as they maybe intended. I understand that. Um, but try to get rid of that frustration. I learned this the hard way. Frustration really just slows you down. So try to just, you know what? F it. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna mess up a few times. Just keep going. Don't beat yourself up about it. Please do take your time. Work on that weaker hand. It's not fun. You're not gonna be flying and whipping that rope around immediately, but you'll build up, you'll develop your skills. If you wanna see another muscle group worked on, let me know down below. Also, I'll think of something constructive um, to put together that we can focus on that muscle group. That was a jump rope workout for the chest. Let me know what you think. If you liked the video, please do like. Let me know your thoughts for the video down below. And of course, of course, of course, if you wanna see more videos like these, be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell next to the subscription button. Appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. All the best with your training and stay ready. I can feel my chest, boy. I'm gonna go again. Thanks again guys, peace.